Hello, I uh, just wanted to do a quick introduction to November 565 Delta. This is uh, Cavalier 102.5 built by David Melby in Minnesota. Um, just wanted to give a quick introduction. I want to start it off by saying uh, to my friends in the 2A community on YouTube, I am alive. I've just been really busy and haven't had a chance to get on there and chat. So I am alive. Um, apologize for not being able to talk with y'all, but hopefully soon. Anyhow, I just wanted to start or to make this video to introduce you guys to 565 Delta. Um, we just got her home last week to Ohio and starting to work on some things to get it back together. Um, next week we'll start reassembly, but for now I've been doing some little things here and there that needed some touch-ups and things, but nothing major yet. Um, this is one of the fuel tanks. It's a wing tank, or a tip tank. If you know anything about Cavaliers, you know that's standard. Um, seats are awesome. David did a great job on all of this for the record. So, horizontal stabilizer and, and uh, elevator. Uh, the first thing I did was took the nose gear home and wire wheeled the whole thing down and painted it. Used some uh, Rust-Oleum appliance epoxy. It turned out decent. There's a little scuff there, but you know, I dropped it while I was still drying. A little scuff, a little scratch, but not too bad. Turned out okay. So we'll put it all back together and everything looks good there. Um, the engine mount, I'm going to take it and actually take it to a uh, powder coating shop. Well, first of all, I'm going to take it uh, to our shop and um, put in some gussets, just some little gussets, like here, here, down here, just little things to, you know, maybe help strengthen it. I'm sure it'll be fine the way it is, but we're not worried about adding a couple extra ounces to make it a little bit stronger, a little peace of mind. Um, the nose gear mounting bracket there, I wire, wire brushed it and painted it, um, just spray painted it. Just a, it was a little rusty. Um, David started this in 2006 and painted it in 2013, I think, 14, 12. I don't know. I uh, I'll have to look back at the uh, the blog again. But anyhow, so it, it got a little bit of rust there, just sitting. So I wire brushed it up, cleaned it, and just shot it with some spray paint. Um, Take you <clears throat> inside the cockpit. Even made some custom latches. Work really smooth. They work really well. They're nice and smooth. The catch goes up and it latches automatically. Um, to, I just pull it out a little bit and it comes down, but go up. Latches. This is the panel. So that's another thing we've got to do is do all the labeling and everything, but some cool things about it that David did. This is a vent, one on the pilot side too. Um, it's got, uh, let me turn the light on. on my phone here. It's got Cessna rudder pedals and consequently, you know, toe brakes on both sides. Um, I'm gonna put that carpet down still, but so that that's pretty cool. Um, it's got a, a VFR movie map GPS, a ICOM 200, and a, a transponder, um, steam gauges. But the really cool thing I'm excited to get into is an autopilot. So it's a single axis autopilot there, it's a Trio Easy pilot, and then it's got the addition of altitude hold, um, and altitude pre-select and hold. So that's going to be really, really awesome. Can't wait to start playing with that. Um, some other cool things that David did with this airplane that aren't in most Cavaliers. Which, David, if you're watching, your headsets were in here. I'll bring them back to you when I come and show it to you. But there's... Um, let's zoom out here. A baggage area in the back. Most Cavaliers that I've seen have just a flat uh, plate on the top there. 
but he put a baggage area in and inside the baggage area he actually put extra uh, a false bottom with lids don't mind that down in the baggage area that was just an aluminum inspection panel i have off but false bottom with lids there's two two lids to be able to go down and have uh some extra storage so that's pretty awesome be able to put tools in there or some extra bags light baggage the door closes nice and smooth latches just opposite of how i opened it obviously um it's got a back window which is pretty cool Let's see the tail section we're going to put it back together like next week, like I said. Gall wing doors on both sides, pilot and co-pilot. So same thing on this side. Same latching mechanism and same uh, locking mechanism up top there. Um, one little scratch here. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that was there or we did it during shipping or whatever. Um, I actually brought it back in a... 26 foot U-Haul from Minnesota to Ohio, so that was a lot of fun. Long night. <laughs> Here's the cowling. It's a split cowling, split down the middle. Again, David did an excellent job. The thing is so light. Uh, wheel pants for all three wheels and a spare because he started making another one. Uh, this prop, David actually made. He made that prop by hand. Um, we're thinking about doing a ground adjustable prop just to get a little better performance, but that prop is beautiful. Did an excellent job. I'll show you more of that later. Wings, um, obviously on the tip, the, the tip tanks go on the tips, but there's the wings. Uh, another thing I did was take the main gear apart and um, painted these brackets. For the main gear axles um they just again got a little rusty sitting so i painted them you know wire wheeled them down and painted them touch the paint on the gear legs they're composite gear legs which is kind of interesting a lot of the fixed gear cavaliers that i've seen online have uh spring steel uh, gear legs like a 150 gear legs or anything like that but this one's got composite um Working through, oh, David also made nice big inspection panels, so it'll be easy to work on and inspect. The other gear leg, same with the bracket, did that. New tires and wheels that I already had. Um, coming across, David made a pedostatic tube on one. And looking here in the wing, there's our roll servo for the autopilot. Again, I'm so excited about that. The uh, pitch servo is in the in the wing, or I'm sorry, in the in the fuselage, towards uh, right back side of uh, where the spar goes in. But anyhow, oh, something I forgot to say. Over here on this wing, there was some. You can still kind of see it there, some overspray from the wingtips when they painted the wingtips. So it was all in here. I was able to get that up, and I'll show you on the other side tomorrow how I did that. Um, it works great, this method. And, I mean, you can see the paint's still nice and shiny. Everything's good, nice and smooth. So I'll show you that tomorrow because I'll be down here working on this again. Here's the engine. It's upside down right now, obviously, but it's a Continental O200 with high compression pistons expecting 108 110 horsepower so that'll be cool um that ground adjustable prop we're expecting decent performance uh the the flaps are actually reflex flaps they go up about five degrees ten degrees something like that so that'll um increase the cruise speed by about 15 percent they say so that should be really cool too the other wing tip Had a bit of a scuff there in, in ship, you know, in transport, but I was able to get most of it up. Traded a little paint with the wing. 
or with the fuselage rather. There's the flap handle, the yoke, or I'm sorry, the sticks. <laughs> doesn't have yokes. It's got custom uh, grips on the sticks with all the controls for the trim and um, push to talk and everything. Uh, it's got nylon brake lines that go into you know to the pedals, obviously. Um, yeah, well. That's about it. I'm going to get in more into depth later. It's just a quick introduction. Um, very excited to get this airplane back in the air. Um, I promised David I'd fly it up to him and let him take a flight in her. I know he wants to see it fly. This is the third Cavalier that David built, to my understanding, or had a hand in. Um, he was trying to make it light, uh, light sport uh, eligible, so it's actually... Got a 950 pound empty weight, which is really light for a Cavalier. So, should be pretty cool. Hopefully, fit me and the wife in full gas and some bags, and we'll be able to go to West Virginia and stuff. All right, I'll make another video tomorrow on removing that overspray. Thanks.